right. So, um, Comrade has, there's a word that kept repeating in, in his reaction. Convenience. It's convenient to flare gas. It's convenient to destroy um, the illegal refining sites. It's convenient to export crude oil. It's convenient to import petroleum products, regardless of the true condition of um, the locals in the area, in the United Delta, where this crude is being um, explored and extracted from. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you, Barista, um, this is my thought. What happened to Professor Yemi Oshimbanjo's Mudla Refineries licensing? APC. That's 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 one. Did well, you say well, APC? When you say APC, APC happened to even it. the government in power right now is an APC. That's government. exactly what I'm saying. It that's, has happened that's, to it. You know that that's <laughs> that's one side of the question. But maybe we should just look at that first off. You know, then the second part of the question is, what can the locals in the United Delta do differently? Because it's obvious. Uh, well, if I would tow the line of comrade. The Nigerian government really does not care about the well-being of the locals. Otherwise, the Ogoni cleanup would have been completed over a decade ago. So if the Ogoni cleanup is still there, and we're having naming ceremonies and birthday parties for it every year, what, so what, hope, government. what hope do the Calabaris and the Jaws and the Okrikas have? You so know, basically, see, has the government I, been shown any from any genuine sincerity when it comes to the sincerity or the the sincerity of the government cannot be brought into question. The problem most of the times is not the genuity of the project. It is that these projects are used as means of political settlement right. for those who have helped them to get in power. Because otherwise, I don't understand why you should get someone to build you a house and the house is not built. And you're not taking action against the person, then it means that you're an accomplice to whatever thing is happening. But if but power if, is in your hand, you have the power, you have the the uh, what they call it, both the executive, the legislation, everything is within your your hands. And then you march arts project. Uh, the late uh, Yaradua, his brother when he was um, governor, which of the states now, gave contracts out for road, awarded contracts of road to some of his in-laws. They didn't do it. He retrieved the contract from them, arrested them, and made sure they paid. Because this is public funds. Right. Now, when you see government is not taking action against those who are not delivering on their product, uh, 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 projects, it, for me, it is a sign that the government is an accomplice to it. Because there is no explanation why you should use public money to fund a project and you're not seeing a result out of it and you're keeping quiet. Now, to the issue of um, the environment. Yeah. See, Based on our economic, global economic goals on environments, this is totally unacceptable. First and foremost, if I was that community, I would take Nigerian government to court. It is the truth because is there no way to safely dismantle these things without destroying the environment? Right. This has been, sorry, this, this has been a major cause for concern. Comrade, you remember one time it was 800, over 800 liters. We, we have this, we have yes. discussed this you over and over. Yes. And where did you put it? In the water? Yeah, let me, let me even give you, let me even give you an instance. There's this case we had at the Federal High Court. Okay. Um, I, I happened to be uh, holding defense for one of the uh, accused person. They brought a matter for illegal refinery and products. They came and the court asked the prosecutor one question. Where is the evidence? Destroyed. Destroyed. And he says, so what are you bringing the people to court for? If the very product you say you cut them with thousands and thousands of liters, you're not telling us that it is destroyed. So why are you bringing them to court? You, you have done away with your evidence. See, our, I, I, I feel like this is very, very deliberate method of scoring cheap points by our security agencies. The army goes, they destroy. The navy goes, they destroy. Now we are having our civil defense going there. They are also destroying. Meanwhile, the people you came to the site, there was nobody on uh, what they call it. Nobody is shooting at with you. Nobody is challenging you. Nobody is there to you know resist your your activity. 
you are you just came into the enemy's camp and saw nobody challenging you and then the next thing you do you start destroying products meanwhile these products are things that you can safely dismount to right call in the, the if possible provide additional security in that area and cover that area make it a parameter cover it up and then bring some professionals to safely dismantle yeah. this so that you don't destroy the environment you keep doing this at the end of the day you blame the locals who are refining and in their refining they were able to even maintain the integrity of the so environment to some extent you that that is coming to say oh what you're doing is illegal you now carry that I'm even a worst a worst operation in the name of trying to push them you know you just like somebody who's complaining of headache and the cure for it is to cut off his head that's exactly the kind of approach that our mm. security agencies they are doing listen you mentioned the super jaws uh, approach it, yes it was his suggestion license, but yeah. it was obvious that the government of the day was not tilted towards the vice president's approach he was seeing it like look the one way to solve this problem is to get the locals involved now it is under the same government when they found the uh, gold in zaria that is trying to get into partnership with the locals for the mining of gold so why wouldn't you bring in the same approach into the Niger Delta region? Well, well, These guys are refining. See, if you go into, if you carry out a, a, a chemical test of all the filling stations, not even one will escape. They are using illegal, illegally refined products. That's why you can hardly go to two filling stations and get the same quality of work. 